uh, and I'm going to share the last 15 minutes with two guests. Uh, one is uh, Heidi Lauren Duke. She is uh, the proprietor, I gather, of the uh, Highland Lodge. Yes, I'm, I'm one of the owners. It was me and three families who bought it about a year and a half ago. Excellent. Thanks so much for joining the program. Yeah, thanks for having me. And, uh, and, and Rob Hurst, you are proprietor of the Willie's Store here in the center of Greensboro. And uh, quite an institution, I can see. You get, you're very busy. <laughs> it's a Thursday morning, and I'm thinking, wow, a lot of people come in and out of the store here. It's very old-timey in here. If you're, if you're walking around in here, folks, watch your step a little bit. The floor's got some bumps in it. That's okay. But it's also uh, pretty modern because uh, a lot of concern these days about plastic straws clogging up for the waste stream mm -hmm. and so on. And I'm looking at a straw here. It says, straw made from plants, Echo Products, 100% compostable. Yes, we've been moving slowly but surely to a, uh, a compost-based uh, system uh, and reducing paper and stuff like that because it would always be I have two dogs and you mm -hmm. know I walk around town taking them around and it always troubles me that you know as I'm walking down I see something you know thrown out on the side of the road I'm like oh god that probably came from my store so uh, you know we've been very very conscious about trying to find renewable and compostable materials uh, that go out of here so that you know we're not uh, adding to a problem that, that is a thought that had never occurred to me before, but it makes sense here that you see a piece of trash on the side of the road and say, oh, God, I, that probably came from my store. And, and uh, it's just, uh, it's one of those things that I kind of go, wow, you know, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Who to thunk uh, all at the same time. And uh, um, Heidi, I, I wanted to uh, ask you, uh, by the way, do you call yourself Heidi or Heidi Lauren? Or? Heidi Lauren okay. is my first name, okay, yeah. Okay, I got it. Both I go by Hilo as a nickname, and so does the Lodge, as we discovered when we bought it. <laughs> oh, that, wow. That, that was one thing we had in common. There's, there's quite a bit of a good fit there, it sounds mm -hmm. like. That's, that's something. So tell us about the Highland Lodge. It's quite, quite a history, and but it's also undergone some modernization in recent times, I hear. Well, uh, the lodge has a long history that was founded um, when a couple community members bought the, the farm, um, the original farmhouse in 1926, and it's been uh, going without without much interruption since 1926 as an inn. Um, and we have 10 rooms in the original farmhouse in the, what we call the lodge, and then we have 10 cabins, and four of them are available in the winter, spring, and then the rest are open year-round, uh, open the rest of the year. And um, we... Uh, uh, we do all kinds of wedding and events and, and performing arts events there. We have a, um, a beautiful historic Steinway piano in the dining room, and um, we do all kinds of different things. And then, of course, we have world-class Nordic skiing out our back door in the, uh, in the ski season. Wow. So, so our winters are very busy as well. Lots to offer. Yeah, I've been hearing from others in the, in the community that, you, um, uh, that Greensboro is a bigger summer destination with Lake Caspian here uh, than, than a winter des destination but you, uh, how's that work with your business? Do you find it? Uh well, I would say that it um, it's not that it's that there's a busy time of year. It's that every three weeks it changes here. It's never mm -hmm. boring. Um, the the scenery, what's growing here, always changes. There's always new things happening. Um, whether we're growing into the the fall season with the beautiful fall colors um, is a great time of year to come when the apples come. Then um, uh, in the when the as, as long as there's snow on the ground, there's amazing things to do with, with snowshoeing and uh, ice fishing and, um, and all of that. And then when the snow starts to melt, that's when it's sugar season. Yep. And we have wonderful mountain biking and everything mm -hmm. in the spring. So, um, so really, it's a year-round destination here. Um, and the, the, the only change economically for us is that in the summer, um, of course, we have our, our private beach on Lake Caspian, the longest private beach on the, on the lake. And so... Uh, uh, many of our guests, of course, um, come here for that and enjoy enjoy that experience and then the beautiful view of the lake from our porch and from the cabins. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, what, what's different about the summer is that the town quadruples in size. I, yeah. That's probably not a perfect statistic, but it's it feels like that. Um, as right. as I'm, <laughs> yeah, I think it does, I think it does feel like that with the amount of people. In the, yeah, in the cars. and so and so the whole um, <clears throat> when we open up something to the public, we do different kinds of events in the summer than we would in the winter or spring, mm -hmm. because we're going we have a completely different population that we're um, that we're advertising to that we're welcoming to the lodge. So, um, so it's more that it's just a, a very different experience. You know, it's never boring. And do you find uh, most of your clientele coming from, you know, the metropolitan areas of the East Coast or all over the world? Or what all over the world. Mm -hmm. we, have, um, we, have, we have family reunions 
where people come from all over the world, all over the country. Um, we have in the in the winter we have skiers from all over the world. We have visitors who want to try the cheese, who want to see the fall foliage. I think last uh, Columbus Day weekend um, we had 12 different countries uh, represented of guests coming from all over the world to see the fall foliage. Wow! So um, so yeah, it's definitely a, a remarkable place. Um, uh, I like to call it that we're the Vermont of Vermont. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it's, it's a remarkable place that people will travel far and wide. We had, we had the World Cup ski orienteering event uh, in March this past winter, and we had ski teams from Finland and Sweden, Italy, Estonia, all these different places um, joining us. So, yeah. And, of course, the Craftsbury Outdoor Center is not far away, and I'm sure you have some... Yes, uh, some synergy with them. Is that of course, yes. Yeah. You can ski from our back door all the way to the Craftsbury Outdoor Center, uh, <laughs> How and far it's a is beautiful that? trail. Um, it's 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 quite a ski. It's about a it's about a full day ski. I have mm -hmm. I have Olympic level skiers who will ski there and back in one morning, but that's uh, yeah. that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty aggressive. Um, but uh, I've been able to. I'm very proud to say that I've been able to ski to the Craftsbury General Store and have lunch there, and mm -hmm. that's that's a good. And then drive back, and that's. Yeah. That's good for us intermediate skiers. Yeah, but. That, that sounds like a good morning workout for sure. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. And you have earned your lunch at the Craftsbury. Exactly. It's, a, it's always good to earn the lunch. When you get over there. Mm -hmm. that, is, uh, that, is, that is something. And, and Rob, tell me a little bit about the history of the store here. Willie's has been around for, uh, I think I saw a sign that said 1900 out there. Yep, it was started by my great-great-grandfather, so I'm Generation 5. Uh, he started around 1900, so we're 118 years old. Uh, been in the same family, of course. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, we're we're here. I mean, Heidi gets a lot of the the guests and stuff like that in the store. Just as the last sentence of the uh, town plan, uh, the store endures, and so yeah. we are just here. <laughs> and how many employees do you have here? I have about forty-five during the summer. Wow. And then it drops down to maybe about 30 during the winter. I see. Okay. So combination of full-time and part-time. Yep. And I, I would gather that most of your revenue is a summer thing then. Yes. I mean, it's the summer we get the biggest bulk. Uh, and then we have the, all the various fall activities and holidays. Yep. Uh, and then January through uh, April are our slow months. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But as I said, Heidi said earlier, there's things going on all the time so eventually I get you know buses coming in I do get a lot from the Craftsbury Outdoor Center um, mm -hmm. and other venues around yeah so yep. we stay busy yeah uh, sure not as much as I'd like I, I'd love to have the same you know level of business all year round but yeah, this is a, know, I've been impressed this morning just the crowd of people that have been coming in and out of the store here it's really uh, really quite something oh yeah and Willie's and Willie's and and Highland Lodge are have something in common in that we stay open year round. We don't close when it's stick season or whatever because it's the same. It's the same with both of us. There are very few places to stay in this area, so mm -hmm. people need us. Yep. And there are very few places to buy a hammer or to get a to get a sandwich or to buy world class cheese. So yeah. Willie's is open very consistently, and that's something that we count on. Uh, 365 days a year. Actually, yeah. that's a good point because uh, Jasper Hill does not have a display room of its own. Mm -hmm. We are their display room. So if yeah. you go up there and try to, you know, want to see, they'll send you right back down here to our shelves <laughs> and say we all of our cheeses on display down here. You know, go down there and take a look at it. Exactly. Wow. And and of course, to Hill Farmstead Beer, uh, we mm -hmm. have it on our shelves down here. So I always tell people go up to the brewery for the experience, and then come back down and see what we've got later on. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and yeah. stop and in then here come for, to our bar. And, yeah. yeah, the yeah, yeah the bar. Exactly. Yes, yes. When the so, brewery closes, our so, bar opens. Yeah. So it works out. It, you, it, just such community synergy here. It's really truly amazing. Well, I have a long history at the Highland Lodge because I grew up uh, with the previous owner's son there. So I have lots of memories running around the the forest and in you the know, lodge. I really want to thank Rob Hurst in particular because you've been hosting us this morning, as as well. <clears throat> excuse me, as, as uh, Heidi Lauren Duke, the proprietor of the Highland Lodge here in Greensboro, and all the other folks in Greensboro have come by this morning to talk to us about what is going on in your community. Rob and Heidi, thanks for being, for batting clean up here on the Dave Graham Show and WDEV.